you award Flash's outrage as he goes to Lord Charles's elegant Versailles feast close by Mick Jagger. Lord Charles III and Sovereign Camilla were respected at a state supper at the royal residence of Versailles in Paris on Wednesday evening. The royals, who'd met with President Emmanuel Macron prior that day, were joined by around 180 visitors at the sumptuous occasion, including a few intimately acquainted faces. Among those in participation were entertainer Hugh Award, his significant other Anna Elizabeth Eberstein, Drifter's frontman Mick Jagger, and his accomplice Melanie Hamrick. Star of Netflix's Sex Schooling, Emma Mackey, and previous footballer Didier Drogba, were likewise among the top-notch names who'd been asked along. Award wore a fresh dark tuxedo for the occasion, while his other half wore a dark velvet dress close by an eye-popping pearl neckband. Award and Eberstein grinned for the cameras as they postured for snaps outside the castle, yet their consideration on the list of attendees has started disarray and even displeasure among spectators. I don't have the foggiest idea why Jagger and Award were there tbh, one Twitter client raged after seeing the photographs while a second repeated. For what reason is Mick Jagger and Hugh Award even there? GB News moderator Dan Wooten was also bewildered by Award's greeting, specifically, as he imparted his considerations on Wednesdays this evening to Dan Wooten. Could I at any point come to my meaningful conclusion about Hugh Award, Wooten yelled to visitor Angela Levin. Since what I see as so loathsome about this is that this is an all-out extreme left lobbyist who really needs to close down the free press in the UK. What's more, nobody on the right, nobody even on the middle right, could at any point be welcome to this. So I find it absolutely astonishing that it simply completely acknowledged that ruler Charles would need. Levin repeated Wooten's position as she made sense of. All things considered, I believe in the event that someone's renowned, they don't have hard feelings, hard feelings Camilla, specifically, she doesn't store up resentment feelings of resentment. So assuming he kind of asked, might I at any point maybe go along? I think they'd comprehend. Yet, I think it was crazy to have him there, she closed which provoked Wooten to laugh. The occasion's coordinators held the supper in the royal residence's well-known corridor of mirrors, where invitees had the option to measure on the best French cooking ready by Michelin featured culinary experts. Lord Charles and Sovereign Camille arrived in France on Wednesday as they started off their three-day state visit. Notwithstanding long periods of mobs in the French capital which prompted a deferment of the visit, Lord Charles and President Macron had the option to meet effortlessly before a couple of select hordes of revering fans, with security at staggeringly significant levels. They were there to launch the Franco-British Literary Prize, as Camilla is known to be a huge proponent of the power of reading and books. On arrival, Camilla perused famous French classics, including the first edition of Les Miserables and Asterix the Gaul. Their Majesties touched down in the French capital on Wednesday, September 20, with their visit due to conclude in Bordeaux on Friday, September 22. On Wednesday night the royals were guests of honor at a lavish banquet held at the Palace of Versailles where they dined on a delicacy of blue lobster. Celebrity guests at the dinner included Mick Jagger, Hugh Grant, Charlotte Gainsbourg and Arsene Wenger.